I hired him to find me a good sandwich. You know what he did? He killed it. He killed the sandwich. You monster! It's not what I meant. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Figuration, Boba Fett. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, very, very simple packaging. Just Star Wars, Boba Fett. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Nothing. On the back, <laughs> Star Wars Boba Fett. Warning! Please don't eat anything in the box. Uh, open up the front flap here. There's nothing there. And there's where the figure sits. And yeah, that's it. So that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here is everyone's favorite bounty hunter, Mr. Boba Fett. And uh, a neat little figure, I do have to say. So let's get in close here so we can see the details. Um, nice paintwork here on the helmet. I think they did a really, really good job um, on the paintwork on this helmet. It looks really, really nice. All the scratches and scrapes and dings. This looks really nice. It's got the big dent there on his head. <laughs> looks very cool. Very well done, in my opinion, anyway. I really think they did an awesome job with the paintwork here. Very nicely done. Come on down to the suit itself. And some nice paintwork. Some nice detailing. Right here on this... Uh, Shoulder pad, you can see he has his, his symbol there, tampoed on. And uh, yeah, all around, just some nice some nice molding, some nice paintwork. There's uh, pouches right there. Very cool. Has little tassels hanging down. Or whatever they are. <laughs> I just call them tassels. But uh, you yeah, have that right there. Again, you got some more pouches molded in. Knee pads, shoes. On the back, you can see the backpack here, also, with a lot of nice paintwork going on. Nice silvers, right there. This guy's little, his little, uh, little scarf, <laughs> just hanging out back here, which is nicely molded. And it's made of a, uh, a soft plastic, so you can kind of bend it around. It's not on a hinge or anything, not that I have been able to find. It might be on a hinge, but you know, stuff on these figures tends to be paint stuck and I really don't want to force anything because I don't want to rip it, but it does have some flex to it. So, there you have that. So, um, yeah. Very nice little figure. Um, and for comparison, here it is with the, uh, with the Stormtrooper. And here he is with Lord Vader. So you can see how he scales there with those guys. So you have that. Hey, Lord Vader! Lord Vader doesn't like to stand too well. He likes to tip over. The Force is, the force is drunk with him, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there you have that. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get some wiggly-waggly wiggly, waggly movement. Nice rotation. This piece right here, you can move forward. You can move it back if you want, but it's on that hinge there. So you can angle that however you want. The arms... And do a full 360. You do have to watch out for the shoulder pad, though. You can get it up that far, get it back that far. Nice full outward movement. Um, you do have a, uh, a bicep swivel in there. You have a hinge at the elbow, which doesn't allow for much bend. About that much bend right there. The wrists are on a ball joint. The waist is on a ball joint. And depending on how you have a position, you can pretty much see everything that's going on in there. So be wary of that. The legs can go forward uh, about that much. Can go back about that much. Outward movement. Pretty good outward movement. Um, you do have a swivel up here. Uh, knee bend. You're not going to get a whole lot of knee bend out of this guy. It's, it's minimal at best. Of course, you do have to... Gotta make sure you have things oriented properly as well, because sometimes these pieces... Oops, I popped his foot off. <laughs> but yeah, not a lot as far as knee bend goes, as you can see. Very, very minimal knee bend. And the feet, as you saw, are on a ball joint, but they don't allow for too much movement. You can see, you only get that tiny little bit of up and down movement. Little bit of tilts. So, not a whole lot of movement 
out of the uh, out of the legs. But then again, these figures are not, you know, were never intended to be super poseable, so it is what it is. So there you have that. Now, of course, he does include accessories. He does have the base right here, which is nicely done. as a symbol right there. Battery compartment is right there. It takes uh, three AAA batteries. On all switches right there. You turn it on and whoop, lights up. Nice bright white lights. Just plop them on there. And that makes for a pretty nice display. So there you have that. And you also have this little hatch here that you can open up. So you can insert the uh, the armature here. And you know, if, if you've been watching my Hero Cross reviews, you know that I am not a big fan of these arms. I think they're kind of crappy. But um, this one actually is it's. it's it's serviceable-ish. <laughs> you can plug it in here. Let me see if I can do this. Um, you actually can get it around his waist. But the thing about it is that these uh, these little gripping claws here, I mean, you can see they pop out pretty easily. There's not a whole lot of... Uh, a whole lot of friction here so you don't really grip the figure in any way that is meaningful I mean you can get it around his waist which is all well and good but by no means is it actually going to hold him up so you know it, it's it's serviceable ish but it'd be nice if it could actually really grip on there otherwise it just you know I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of these arms but hey again is what it is but I'll turn this back off Boop. So, there you go. So, again, you have the base there with the armature. And he does come with some extra hands. Now, he does have the closed fists already installed. But he also has some more open hands here. Right there. You can see. I'm messing up my autofocus. <laughs> there you go. It's still nicely painted. Same amount of detail. So, you have those two hands. And you also get two gun holding hands right there. And of course you get a gun from the hold. Now this gun is made totally of soft plastic. As you can see, it's very bendy even up here at the barrel. It has some flex to it. Um, the details on it are a little, they're a little muddy in places. They look kind of, I don't know. Not as crisp as I would like. I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's the way it's actually supposed to look or not. But either way, the details, for me anyway, I don't feel are as crisp as I would like them to be. But it's actually nicely painted, though. It looks nice. But um, it might suffer a bit from being all made of that soft plastic. But there you have that. Now, swapping the hands on this guy is actually pretty easy. They are a little stiff, but... Not so stiff that you have to do the mod to it to loosen them up. Just pop the hand out and we'll have him holding his gun. Um, I can see why this is made of a soft plastic because getting the gun in his hand is honestly kind of hard to do. You kind of have to want to wedge it in like this and you can see how you have to bend it up to get it in his hand. You just gonna have to take it and just gonna warm it into his hand like that and then get his finger into the trigger there, and then you can just kind of push everything in and straighten everything back out. Like that. There you go. And he's holding his gun. It's still stuck on a little bent there, but <laughs> fix it with a hair dryer. Well, there you go. And you just take that and just wedge it back on. Again, it's it's a little stiff, but it's, it's not too bad that you have to, uh, Really mess. Oops! Some just fell out. What? What just happened? What? What just? Ah! Ah! What the? Oh! Okay, that just came out. Dude. Did that break? No, I didn't break. That just. No, it just. It just tabs in there. <laughs> I thought I just broke something. Ah! There it goes. Back in. I ripped his head off though. Get back on there. There you go. So he's got his gun. I was just trying to get his hand on. Jeez. Ah! <laughs> you know what? Just stay there. Just stay there. <laughs> flashbacks to what happened to his father. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> he's having war flashbacks. <laughs> Dad. No. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord.
Lordy, Lordy. There you go. Sorry, let me put your head back on. There you go, buddy. There you have it. <laughs> so there he is with his gun. You can pop him there on the stand. And again, makes for a nice display. You can't really hold it too straight just due to that stock there, but there you go. But, uh, yeah, and that's basically it for this guy. Um, all in all, though, I mean, nice figure. I mean, um, nothing, you know, I've been messing with him for uh, a good couple of days, and, you know, there's nothing on him that feels, like, fragile. I, I really don't feel like there's anything you really have to be careful for. I mean, these little bits right here, yeah, it did come untabbed on me, but it didn't break. But so, these actually you might want to be a little bit careful with. If they start to pop out on you a little too much, maybe you can just glue them in. But, yeah, they just kind of tab in there, but maybe you do want to be a little bit careful with these. But, other than that, everything on this guy feels good. Again, he has, you know, like all these figures, he has some die cast in him, so he has a little bit of heft to him, which is always nice. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So, there you go. I mean, like I always say when I review these figures, I mean, I personally don't collect this style of figure. I'm not into this style of figure, so this is not something that I would personally buy. But, um, nice figures nonetheless, and if this appeals to you in any way, if you do collect this type of figure, if you do feel this is worth the money, then by all means, pick it up and enjoy. So, there you go. So, if you are interested in this or any of Hero Cross's other offerings, you can buy direct from Hero Cross themselves. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. They also carry Hero Cross items, so I'll put a link to their site in the description down below as well. And you can check out my Hero Cross playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below as well, so do check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Hero Cross Hybrid Metal Figuration Boba Fett, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. You did very well, Bounty Hunter. Well, thank you, Lord Vader. Now, there is the matter of my payment. Um, oh, yes, yes, um, uh, about that, um, I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Do you happen to have some kind of, like, Bounty Hunter layaway plan? You know, I can make payments or something? Um, no, that's, that's not how this works. Um, I catch who you want me to catch and you pay me. This is the part where you pay me. Well, how about an IOU? I have one right here. Oh no, what's happening? It seems like you can't breathe. Oh no, what's, what's going on here? What's, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh dear. You seem to have choked. How unfortunate. That's how the Sith dine and dash. <laughs>